Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Quest V! In the last episode, we came back here to the Kingdom of Coburg, after growing up, of course, and we helped our boy Prince Harry uh, stop his fake-ass stepmom from taking over the kingdom, let alone the world, and uh, kind of put his, bro his little brother, his little half-brother, back on the throne in his rightful place. But Harry decided he was going to stay behind to help the kingdom, so we're back to just me as the main party member. <sighs> but we also discovered that we get monster party members. So right now we're walking around with this little wacka dude, this Gootrude fucking slime. And this is my party for the moment. Um, I will say we should go grab another one of these motherfucking monsters that we could put in my party. We have plenty to choose from. Let's go out in the world map and pick one, shall we? Right now we have the zombie, Hork. We have the big old yeti dude, Sloth. We got the Goodian Guardian, and we got Alola, which is the hula girl looking thing. Sultry Dance, Weirdest Dance, Heal, Mid Heal, Drain. Those are nice. Um, tongue Lashing and Poison Attack, War Cry. I might put in this dude. Oops, sorry. Just have a, a Goo Gutrude and Goodian all up in here. Let's go. I'm down. Question is, what equipment do I have that he could use? Let's see. Can you use the shelmet, sir? Or this edge boomerang? Nope. To the bag with you. Can you use the shelmet? Uh. Nope. The knight would be best. Well, that's who I'm using, so here we go. Uh, okay, so that's that. He doesn't have anything to give away. Edge, another edge boomerang. How many edge boomerangs I got, man? Too many. All right, what do I have in here from Harry? Harry gave me all of his items, so let's see what happened with that shit. Okay, you can't use the claw. Can you use this? Nope. Can you use any of the shit that I have? There we go. Fucking put on that bronze armor, boy. Hell yeah. Uh, Roz mirror. Right, we use that to actually um, show the queen. Actually, the Iron Curious might be better, huh? Oh, an Iron Curious, he cannot equip. Ooh, but we can put it on this boy. Let's put it on this boy. Why not? Yeah. Don't you love the beginning of any episode where I re-equip everybody? Isn't it the best? Anybody can use the shield right now? Hell yeah. Go, 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 Goodian. All right. Anybody, any other weapons besides the boomerang right now? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I don't have any other weapons. I'll have to buy one for the freaking goo boy. Go Goodian the goo boy. Let's go check the store real quick. Mr. Whipping Shape. What do you have for sailing to equip me with? Steel broadsword. Goodian can have that. That's what Funky's using right now. I could put the chain whip so we can grab, attack a whole group of enemies. I might just do that. Or I could just give him a stone axe, which is cheap. I don't know. The chain whip's actually stronger, and it hits all. You know what? I'll do the chain whip. I'm not going to give him the strongest weapon I can give him, but I can give him one that can, he can be more useful. Let's do that. What? No. What? Oh, that's Sloth. I'm an idiot. I'm looking at the wrong character. Dumbass. Well, shit. Fuck it. Never mind. I'm a dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> Discord. Thank you, DJ. Uh, well, shit. Fuck it. I'm not buying him that expensive-ass sword. All right. Well... I'm assuming you mean Discord. I have a chain whip in my bag. I do? Am I stupid? I... F <laughs> I truly do, and I feel dumb now. Thank you for making me feel dumb, but that's my own fault. Here, Sloth, you can have that. Sure. Sure. Fine. Cool. My bad. All right, let me let me grab this. Uh, oops, grab this fucking. We got a new party member in our party, and DJ is obliging. Let's add this boy. 
Slime Knight is the proper name. But okay. Let's get this boy where he belongs. With the rest of his his true parte. Um should I put him behind? Or should I put him I'll put him front and center and I'll put the hero behind. Although the stupid hammer dude is right in his face. Let me put him behind the hammer guy, I guess. Or in front of the hammer guy. There we go. I can live with that. You want the hammer guy in the middle? Yeah, that, actually, you know what? That might be all right. Let me let me see. This, this is him. Let's put him in the middle. Put Gunite over here. Center the center of the hero a little bit. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna use my other hero one. Where's he at? Yeah, this looks better. Here we go. I'll make him a little. Oh shit. Uh, oops. Now you know. What? Screw it. I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him. He's taller than all those bitches. I'm fine with it. Maybe I'll make this guy a little bigger, though. Although the slime... The slime's the same size. That's fine. Just leave it. Just leave it. Stop messing with it. It's good enough. He says as he messes with it some more. Alright. Stop messing with it, dude. We're good. We have a party. Let's go. God. Are you guys riveted by this beginning of this episode? Because seriously, it's good shit, right? All right. So where do we go? So when last we talked with the king, uh, we needed to go... Shit, I don't even remember where it wanted me to go. Why don't I remember? Motherfuck. Okay, let me just go to the map. I know we got to leave here. I'm just trying to think of where we needed to go. Did it want me to go east somewhere? Wow. Why can't I remember where it wanted me to go? There's a boat somewhere, right? Boats will start coming back to the to places. Isn't there a port town like somewhere? Where did we start the game? To the west. I think I know where I need to go. I think I know where I need to go. I think I do. Let's see if I am remembering correctly. I know. I think the idea was I said we need to get a boat next because I think everywhere else. Oh my god! Look at this fucking battle. Here we go. Because um, I believe the last time we were, um, and the town that was a port town was when I was a child pulling up with my dad on the boat. I don't think I ever went back there. So let's go back there. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> what a fucking battle to start this fucking episode off with. Jeez, five slime knights and a and an owl bear. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. Fuck up the owl bear. Fuck him up. 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 All right. Quite a fight, but worth it for the experience points. Hopefully, Goodian went up. Yes, he... Oh, wait. That was Gutrude. I'll take it. But also Goodian, I hope. Indeed. Level 6. Let's go. All right. So, the biggest speculation is who's the real... The next real party member I'm going to get that's not a freaking monster. I'm hoping we get back the girl from the beginning of the game. But they said she moved with her family to, like, a more... Uh, northern destination. 
even though there's not really a more northern place to go on any of the continents, which makes me think she might be on a more southern destination, but we'll see. Gonna beat your asses, beat that ass, whoop that ass, kick that ass, timber, timber, time berm, time berm. He's a ticking time berm. Makes me want to sing some rancid up in here. The boys of time berm. The flatulent ferret. What a name. See, so yeah, I haven't played this game for a week. Um, what? The Draki wants to join? Of course, Draki can join. Um, I haven't played this game for a week, so, you know, bear with me if I forgot everything or didn't know what the hell I was doing for a minute. It still is Dragon Quest, after all. All right. Can we do anything here? Is there a boat? There is absolutely nothing here. This shit is empty as fuck. Hello? Is anybody home? Has a ship come in? Of course not. It's pitch black outside. Maybe one will come in tomorrow. Why don't you come back in the morning? Oh, is it nighttime? Oh, maybe I gotta make it daytime. Can I sleep here? Off you, off you, all at last, all ship, off you, off you, all ship, all at last, off you, off you, ah, ah, off you. I can only make it nighttime on purpose, right? I can't make it daytime without sleeping. What a fucking, what a fucking travesty this place is. It's gonna make me go somewhere else just to make it daytime. Didn't it like just get to nighttime? I feel like outside it was daytime still. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was. Oh, wait. I think it's day about to be daytime again right now. Ticking time berm. I mean, I don't mind grinding it out for a couple minutes. Just ki getting some kills, getting some money, getting some experience points, you know? Leveling up my boy Alola that I'm not even using. Getting free rock bomb shards. You know. Come on, man. Make it fucking daytime. Make it fucking daytime. Alright, so because right now I'm kind of just walking around. Hork learned Cool Breath. Hork is one of the guys I'm not using. Because I'm just walking around waiting for daytime, anyways. <clears throat> oh, well, it's about to be daytime. I was just going to say. We'll probably walk around and do some more, lots of areas where we're just fighting anyways. But I figure today is probably a good day to start doing some announcements for things that are coming up. Where I will not be available to stream for a little while. And, uh, well, with good reason. Um, or at least I'll explain in a minute. But, um, yeah, I'll talk, to, I'll talk about it in a minute. <clears throat> but, uh... Yeah, let's just... Now it's about to be daytime. Let's just get back to the dock and see if there's a ship there. But yeah, I definitely have some announcements. So if you hear the sound of my voice right now, stay tuned for a few announcements concerning streaming and other things going on in the life of the funk. Mas importante. And I'll probably just be reiterating myself over the next couple weeks about said things. So if you weren't here live to watch it or hear it, you know. I think that was the Draki that just got a level up, huh? All right. Daytime. Let's get over here and see if there's a ship. Un boat? Un boat! Just what I needed. A ship. A ship's come in. Better hurry up or you'll miss the boarding. Fuck yeah. I'm getting in there. On you go. The ship's sailing for the continent of Zephyrus. Zeph Zephyrus. I'm assuming that's somewhere I have not been. Oh, more passengers, but that should be the lot, I reckon. Sweet. I'm on a boat. All aboard, I'm on a boat. Anchors away. Hoist the main tail, cause I'm sailing on a boat. Hey, hey, um, uh, 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 uh. Hey, I'm on a motherfucking boat, and you're sailing away. Hey, hey. Hell yeah. I like how we just walked up. Oh, you're get on the boat. Let's go. We're leaving. Like, there's no ticket necessary, no passage, anything. Just get the fuck on. We're leaving. Like, they don't even give a fuck who I am. I'm not smuggling anything. I swear. <laughs> I like that it uncovers the map too. When I if I get close to things, that's nice. Little island there. 
Just going west a little bit. Well, that wasn't very far. But it's a place we haven't been, so welcome here to Zephyrus, I guess. Righto, that's all the passengers disembarked. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the ride. Home slice. Let's take a look around our new destination. I hope it won't be long before the world's safe enough, enough uh, for us to start sailing again. If we don't sail, we don't work. See? Simple as that. If we don't do that, we ain't eating. I heard that the ferry to Little Haven sailed the other day, so I came along hoping to be able to get on the next one. But apparently that was the last one to go. How's a fellow supposed to get to that White King's Paradise at this rate, eh? About that. It's not so paradiso that you think so, homie. It's not the paradiso that you think so. It's not the paradiso that you thought so. See the lighthouse just there? There's a scary ogre living at the top of it. If you value your life, you won't be going near the place in a hurry. Going to the lighthouse. Gonna say what's up to the ogre and make up new best friend. Is it like actually an ogre? It's like a fucking Quasimodo ogre or something? Like what the hell? What do you mean there's an ogre? I need to know. Is it all rumor and hearsay? I does is need to know. This is the mid-level. There's nothing up here. No shinies, no nothing, no nothing. No whammies. Not a damn thing. Continuing our trek up the lighthouse. Ah, there's a guy. He's not very ogre-like, though. His name is Ogar. Am I an ogre? How dare you? I'm getting through thoroughly fed up with people constantly asking that same question. His name is Ogar. That's hilarious. All right, anyway, I got a mini medal. I did not mean to go about there, but sure. Hello. Oh, dear. I wonder what all that smoke's about. Looks like it's coming from Zoomingale. 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 We'll call it Zoomingale. Zoomingale, huh? I guess we'll need to go to Zoomingale. It's on fire. Okay. I, I see a... That's probably the island. There's an island with a little shrine on it that we sailed by. I think that's what that is. Funky G looks at the bookshelves. It's the lighthouse keeper's diary. Funky G takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. Blue skies and high seas again today, and there was yet another visitor come, and hunt, come hunting me down thinking I was some kind of ogre or other. I just can't fathom it. I know I'm not the prettiest of folk, but even so. I keep looking in the mirror to see if I can find an answer, but I'm completely stumped. Yeah, okay, dumbass. Can't realize your name's fucking Ogar. Have you had a look through this telescope? You'll probably see the big mountain to the southeast if you did. That'd be Mount Azimuth. Totally impossible for mere humans to climb. Apart from the chosen one, that is. Chosen ones, that is. They can climb to the top easy pie, as easy as pie. Who does the choosing? Well, that's a good question. Big question. It must be the goddess or some other bigwig, eh? Like, I'm guessing you just do it and that makes you chosen because you're strong enough to do it. Yes. Zo Zoomingales as opposed to Bloomingdales. It might as well be a big old shopping place. You right, frog. You right. You right. All right, well, now that we've got this ogre situation out of the way, the real reason to come up here was small details and a mini metal. So that's what we got. See ya. Bye bye, bye bye. That was good times, good times, baby. All right, what do we got going on over here? Boatman, old man. Oh, it's the slime guy. Well, that's probably downstairs. What's this guy? My son was always a fine sailor, but then his boat was attacked by monsters. It's very painful for me to think about what happened to him. Very painful. So his name is Ogar. Basically, it's O-G-A-R. That was literally his name. I'm Monty, the famous monster monitor. I take care of folks' monsters for them. What can I do for you today? Uh, look around, please. Ah, you want to see how your monsters are getting on, do you? Who would you like to check up on first? Okay, so I only have one monster here, which is the adorable kitty cat fucking abomination named Jayla, the jail cat. I don't really care about it right now. I'm not going to use it, but there you go. Ogar should have changed his name to OG. OG, triple OG. He really should have. 
people will stop getting confused by thinking he's Ogar or uh, an ogre. Anyway, another TNT ticket if you need it for that mini game. And that's all down here. All right. So if you need a monster check, they have it there. Good to know. All right. Rumor, rumor has it that the Kingdom of Coburg is planning on conquering the world. They don't seem to be doing much about it so far, mind you. I'm just starting to think it was all just a hoax. Yeah, I put them in their place. You'll be fine. Welcome to the item shop. What you got, son? Medicinal herb, moonwork bulb, <laughs> cherub, cherub chime. Cure a party member of confusion. Okay, I don't have any of those. Tortoise shell is a defensive thing for Gutrude. Okay, that's pretty expensive, though. I'm not buying that. Magic Shield, even better. It only gives me six defense, so for even funky. These are expensive. It's not worth it. Actually, this is worth it. I take that back. Reflects, deflects damage of magic and fire. I'm actually going to get this. I lied. I lie. Funky's getting this. Yes. Banana. I was like, why is it so expensive for something that's not that much better? Because it deflects some shit, that's why. Alright, anybody can use this iron shield that I have? Hell yeah, give that shit to the boy who has a motherfucking bronze shield. Alright, good enough. Okay, what's up, dude? Hey, have you heard? Nope. Seems there used to be an ancient spell that will allow you to return to castles and towns you visited in an instant. Please tell me I'm gonna get that soon. Can you imagine how great it would be if you knew a spell like that? You could go traveling off all over the place. I can't wait till I get it, dude. Where's it at? You ate your pepperoni mac and cheese too fast? Are you, like, burping or hiccuping too much or something? Or, like, you got heartburn now? Like, what do you mean too fast? Or you just wish there was more? No books of particular, huh? Come from Boreas, did you? I was born on that continent myself. I know, I'll let you in on a secret. One Borean to another alike. Like, to another like. Take a good look at the flower bed by the church. You never know what you might find. Ooh, by the church, you say. All right. Don't know where the church is yet, but flower bed, well, it's already shining over there, so there you go. Mini metal. Oh, there was two things. Mini metal and 100 gold coins. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What a hangover. Maybe I had one too many last night. Okay, so I can't go in the bar unless it's nighttime, I'm assuming. Because there's a dude literally passed that on the, on the doorstep in the way. What a fuck. Oh, no. There's multiple doors. Never mind. Oh, shit. My stacks. Help me. Someone help me. No one's going to help you now. We said you we do what you ask, right? So now you got to give us the dosh. The dosh? No, I can't be trusting you. That gold belongs to the village. We's all chipping, chirping, we have. You stubborn idiot looking for trouble, are you? Oh, boy. What's your problem? Want a piece of the action, do you? Sure. Then that's what you got. We don't take too kindly people sticking their nose in our business. We don't take too kindly. They took our gerbs. Those did not look like wolf guys. But sure. Let's fuck up some rough ruffians. I love the name. Rough ruffian. Get fuck fucked in. Wow, he ran away after one hit. What a little bitch. A little bitch. A kinky little bitch. Huh. We won't be forgetting this in a hurry. Yeah, okay. I like how one ran and the other one... <laughs> got knocked out and so he took he dragged his friend away that was funny thank you sir thank you kindly -er. you the kind of man we should be trusting i reckon would you be willing to take on a little task for us sure oh ah, thank you i'm only gonna say them the once so um, them ears of yourn better be squeaky clean here thing is there be a savage monster what's messing up all our crops in the village He's that bad as we'll all likely be dying of starva starvation if we don't, don't do something smartish. And that's why I'm here. Find us a good, strong warrior what's going to scare off that monster. I reckon I gone and struck gold with you. You my right brownie bay, ain't you? 
I'm not talking about working for free. You understand? There's gold in it for you. 3,000 gold is what we're offering. Half now and half more later. Okay, sure. 1,500. Let's go. You'll get the rest of the gold after you scared off that mo their monster. Very well then, me handsome. I'll be getting along now. Back to the village. Oops, nearly forgot. My village is way down south called A. No, Hey. That's it. Always drop that H, I do. Can't help it. Do Does I need to tell you all that again? No. Very well then, me handsome. I'll be getting along now back to the village. It's way down south here. I mean, hey, it's called. You don't have... You shouldn't have trouble finding it. Way down south. You got it, dude. Blimey, you're stronger than you look, kiddo. I know. I whooped ass, didn't I? I visited Hay once. It's a tiny village to the south of here. Talk about the sticks, mind you. There's not exactly a lot to see there. Just a bunch of hay. Fucking city called Hay. They better be known for hay. You're searching for the legendary hero so that you can rescue your mother? That all sounds a bit serious. Wow. Thanks, bartender. That's too serious for me, dog. So that's going to be a nope from me, dog. Hello. Our performances are only at night, my little scarab. Come back if you'd like to see a show you'll never forget. Cleo, call me now. Hello, handsome. You came especially to see me, wa? Oh, she's oh, she's got some Frenchness. Hello, handsome. You came especially to see me, oui? What a nice sweet tongue you have, Shari. Alrighty then. Hello. I just could not seem to get the makeup right at all today. At least I look pretty au natural, so I do not have to worry too much, no, Shari. Indeed. When you go there, greet everyone with hey, hey, hey. <laughs> maybe I will, frog. Maybe I will. Just walk it in like hey, hey, hey. And then they roll their eyes at me. All right, I need a particular type of key to open these red doors. Noted. I know there's some treasures up there. I saw them from the other screen. Dude, ooh, there's a staircase that goes down. I didn't even see that earlier. Hello. What this? The lottery? Well, hello there, and welcome to Lodestar Harbor's famous Tombola. Oh, Tombola. Looks like you got a grand total of one Tombola ticket at the moment. Just one ticket per go. Let's do it. Tombola me, bitch. Oh, damn. It even goes a little zoom in. I got a white. Oh, well done. That's a white ball, which means you win a Category 5 prize. That's a free Tombola ticket. You get to roll again. Wow. I got a green. What level's that? Green ball is Category 4. You've won a TNT ticket. Uh, I'll just put it in the bag, actually. Thank you very much. No more Tombola tickets. Okay, so... I haven't played a lot of games that actually have that, like, Tombola spinning thing, but the first game that comes to mind when I think of that is actually Sukaden 4, which is funny because I don't really like that game, but I do remember them having a, them having a Tombola, like, mini game. You just you spin the thing, you get a different ball, and there's lots of different prizes throughout the game, some of which are pretty decent, I suppose. A hey, more free coinage. Give me them free coins, baby. Give me free coins. Another TNT ticket for your boy. What about the TV game? Press your luck. No whammies, no whammies. Stop. That is not like Tombola. Nothing beats the awesomeness that is getting a soda from that one machine. That animation took so long. You mean like from... from from Shenmue? I was talking about Sukaden 4. Are you talking about Shenmue, DJ? The Grandmaster of the Underworld is attempting to take over our world. I must find the legendary hero and inform him immediately. Tell me! My husband's a bit of a scholar. One day he suddenly announced he wanted to go off on his travels. He said something strange about looking for the legendary hero so that he could save the world. It sounded a bit strange to me. I figured I should follow him before he fucking jumps off a cliff by himself or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you were talking about the, the Shenmue soda machine thing. It did have a long animation. I agree. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll stay here. Why not? Maybe a cutscene will happen. I don't know. Cutscene didn't happen, by the way. Oh, well. 
But yeah, press your lucks, aka the you know the the whammy game, the no whammies, no whammies. Not exactly the same as Tombola. This is Lodestar Harbor. They had to kill time in that game, otherwise it would be over two in two hours. What the the pressure luck game? That was a half hour show, wasn't it? At least I remember it being a half hour show. Oh, I see. You're talking about the Shenmue game. Well, yeah, it wasn't even that they had to waste time. It was just that they tried to make it feel like you're playing life, like it's a life simulator type game where it feels like things take real time. Things move in real time, you know, or at least game real time. <clears throat> it wasn't exactly real real time. Oh, sorry, got these hiccups going now. Okay. I already have Iron Curious. Iron Armor is slightly better. Full plate armor. Now that's... Honestly, it's good. I think it's better, but it's not enough better to be like, hell yeah, I need that. I could get the Guna form for the Gutrude, finally. It's, it's only 3.30. You know what? I'm doing it. If I'm going to have a goo, I better give him the proper Guna form, am I right? Scale shield, uh, iron helmet. Oh, that's actually a lot better for, like, I'm only looking at Funky's equipment right now, mostly. I think I was going to go back and buy this, and I just never did. I'm still wearing a leather hat, no wonder. There we go. Big jump. All right, we'll hold out for the plate armor later. Anyway, you saw I played a bit of multiverses. Any thoughts? The physics felt pretty weird. Yeah, the physics are a little weird, DJ, but I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Um, I might, I'm, I'm probably going to play a little bit out on stream one of these days just to, just you know, just because. I just wanted to try it since it was a free-to-play thing, you know, but I might play a little on stream at some point. Sledgehammer for Wacka. Morning Star. Nobody I'm using, you can use that, though. It's like the chain whip. Yeah, I pretty much have the best weapon for Funky that I can get right now. I'm okay with this. My only thing about... My only complaint about Multiverses is how much work you gotta do just to unlock new characters. Like, it's not unfathomable, but you definitely have to just keep playing the game over, like, constantly to get all the characters. You like the Iron Giant, you tried it in a practice. It has so much air movement that it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I was actually... I actually, my first match... When I played online, I, I was playing 1v1s only. First match, I fought a guy who played Iron Giant, and I was playing Wonder Woman, and I was whooping his ass. He was too big and squishy that I was just, he couldn't even hit me. When I grow up, I'm going to be a sailor. I'm going to travel all around the world. All around the world. And I'm going to collect lots of treasure, too. It'll be amazing. Oh, yeah? How amazing. Lots of intellectual-looking books lined up. But on closer inspection, they appear to be full of children's scribblings. Well then, pair of boxer shorts. Oh, sure. What are, do those do anything other than just be boxer shorts? They actually do bump defense for you know whoever doesn't have that defense. So there you go. Um, did I try to give this leather hat to anybody yet? I don't think I did. Let me let me see if this anybody who can equip this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Let's give it to the let's give it to the little boy. Here you go. Have a leather hat, dude. Have it. All right. Um. All right. So I think we're good on this room. But yeah. I'll, like I said, I'll probably you know jump into some multiverses on stream one of these days just for some fun, free to play action. Time to get back out into that world and get explorata exploratating, shall we? Every game should not only have a sewer level, but a forklift sim as well. Yeah, like that Shenmue. Beware of beasts. South of here lies the village of Hay. Hey, hey, hey. So I was going to mention earlier, when I was walking around on the way, you know, on the map. Um... Got some big stuff coming up here in my in my life that are, is going to affect streaming a lot. So you guys need to know about it. 
Um, so it's a lot to say, and I hope I can be well. Shit! Every time I want to say something, then I get to the next village. Shit! Shit! Well, I'm here. I'm in hay. Maybe I should wait till I'm in a dungeon, and then talk about it. So I'm not getting into more of talking to people. By that there goddess, the fields are a proper mess again. If he goes on like this much longer, we'll be dying of starvation and hunger. Hunger. Starvation and hunger. Tell the villagers some Jeff Foxworthy folks. You might be a redneck. Hey, hey, hey. This here is A. You fancy folk probably call it Hey. Only what that with that busy wolf monster scat, scatting in the fields abroad, we ain't got much A to gather. My whole life I I's lived here, but I'm thinking we'll have to head off into them there hills before long. Before long. Them there hills. Uh, other than staying here at the inn, I don't think I want anything else to do with this fucking building. Um, anything else? Oh, there's more people over here. It's not a small village. It's just not a lot going on but the farming, really. Everybody lives in one house. Just kidding. There's a bunch of little hay houses here. Granny's been acting all funny lately. She all needs one little dollop of her food and then gives the rest to me. She says she's full, she does. I hope she ain't sick. Me too, sir. Or child. Whatever. What do you want? Pause over Bailiff Bale's place, if that's who you're after. You know, the place with them horses outside? You know. Seat of strength, that's good shit. I did mention before vacation that I need to sit down and have the talk. I truly did. And I think today we'll start having that talk, and I'll probably have to keep having that talk over the course of the next few weeks. Um, but, uh, I at least want to get the ball rolling on that, so I... I don't feel like I need to announce it last minute or anything. Anyway, we're using the strength scene on Funk. Duh. Um, der. Did I talk to you already? What do you want? Yeah, pops over Bailiff Bale's place. Yeah, yeah, okay. But yeah, let's get into a dungeon or something, and then I can have, like, free reign to just talk about whatever. I've been working like Billy old me li Oh, I've been working like Billy oh me old life. But that's... That but things ain't getting any easier. Why was I born in this year, dump eh? The goddess ain't wasting any more smiles on me, that's for sure. She said, Fuck you, buddy. I can't hardly muster the energisms to do anything these daisies. I'm so hungry. I put up that terror crow in my field to scare off that wicked devil monster, but he ain't been much good. And we're famous for our terror crows here in A, you know. An A. A. Ooh, another leather hat. Yo, I think I think one of my other characters can wear that, I believe. Give that to the the night boy over here. He don't got a helmet. Now he do. That there scarecrow problem just needs some that there scarecrow just probably needs some brains, you know. Yes, he do. Brains go along with that terror. He'd be a real nightmare for that old wolf monster you're trying to get rid of. Mm-hmm. I think we found the town meeting. There's four whole people here. So your idea is to pick up someone what'll help us at the pub in Low Star Arbor. That's the plan, is it? That's it, bailiff. Them get some proper feisty scrappers in that there pub. Nah, I don't like the idea. We can't go asking any old bay who comes through, comes across for assistance in, in village matters. We'll just take the reward and run. I can't be wasting any more time on this cod swallow. I got some. I got things to do. And who the blazers are you? Out my way. Uh, fuck you too. I'm here to solve your all your problems, bitch. Oh, hello, my lovers. Remember me, don't you? From Low Star Arbor? I wasn't sure if you'd be be a coming, but here you is. Hey, <laughs> I know how to pick them, don't I? 
Hey, then I. I best let bailiffs bales do the expl explicating. He knows the ins and outs of it. Scarecrow that ain't Funky's brain, in indeed. You youngins is all the same. Out added and rec reckless. Reckless? Wow, that's adorable. You must be the bayas being asked to help us from the pub, won't it? I'm most obligated that you come here down here today. Thank you kindly. We's all praying to the goddess that you can help. So then, about this monster, what's been causing all that? Bull of Palaver. Palaver? Palaver? I'd never heard of that. He looks in part wolf and part lion, or as part wolf and part lion. And he's blimmin', blimmin', he's blimmin' scary is what he is. We didn't know he, where he lives or not, I'm afeard. All I can tell you is that he comes from the west. We, we's all seen him, the busy beggar. So what we's asking you is to go off west and find his lair and give him a good old larupin, a larupin, a larupin. <laughs> So as he won't come back again. Yeah, these folks is all right. They just need some education, you know. Rolling in the A and shit. According to what I heard, there's even more scary monsters in other parts. At least our beast ain't hurt no people here yet, which means he's probably just a nice little monster who's a little hungry. And you over here want me to go wallop him upside the head when he's just trying to get a little food in his system? What a bunch of assholes. Vial of magic water, mini metal, good stuff. Mini metal, man. I haven't found the place for the mini metal yet, but we also haven't really got to fully explore the world yet, so. That's to be expected. Horses! Any shinies in the horse pen? No, doesn't look like it. Nay, I say. Nay! All up in the hay, hay, hay! Doob. Do, 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 do. Did I talk to you already? I don't know how much you'd be an offer for getting rid of our monster, but you can't do nort with the gold if you get yourself killed. Mind you, I don't suppose you'd go for that now, that far now, would you? You ain't from around these parts, so what is to you, eh? I know, right? I'm about to fuck this monster up because he just fucking deserves it for being a monster. All right, I didn't go to this item shop yet, right? Let's see what they got for sale here. Sale here. I got all things for sale. Nothing I really need to buy, though. Not really. I already have all of what I want out of that. I'm good. There is a church here if you need it as well. Good to know. All right. Oh, actually, let's stop by the church and make a save. We haven't made a save yet for today. Let's do that. Okay, okay. So, they said the monster was to the west of here. So, that would signal to me we're gonna go do a dungeon where the monster hangs out let's go shall we go try out our new party member in a, in a dungeon also shit i pressed the b button i suck bless you my child turn the power off i don't wanna but i will reset it because i'm an idiot damn it that's only the second time i've done that in this playthrough so that's not too shabby i do that a lot more in the first couple games they always have it to where if you press the back button it's like you want to leave all right see ya like no i don't wanna <sighs> i just pressed the back button to get through dialogue faster that's the only reason backfires every time mm -hmm. To the west, we're going to go. All right, to the west, young man. It's a growl bear. It's just a purple owl bear. I guess he's like purple and purpley pink colored. Dang it, you forgot who says hey, hey, hey on what's happening. Isn't that like... Wow, what is his name? I've never watched What's Happening, but it's one of those shows that everybody... Like, not everybody, but a lot of people remember. 
that had some like iconic characters that people remember. Like, isn't that the one that had Gary Coleman on it? All right, well, here's a cave right here. I think we done found it. Hell no. What's the one with Gary Coleman then? Different strokes was Gary Coleman. See, I'm racist. No, I just, I've never watched the one with Gary Coleman either, so I thought it was the same show. Um, now, what's happening had that other guy, though? The one, I know I'm thinking of the right guy, Frog. Trust me. I just don't remember his name. But anyway, we're in a dungeon now. We're looking around. We're going to find this monster, and we're going to find some new monsters, random monsters. So I think it's time for, as Frog called it, the talk. So. As most of you probably have surmised by now, at least if you watch my videos or streams on a regular basis, you probably already know this, or at least you should know this. But me and Maro, we're what uh, you would call a couple at this point. You know, we're together. If you haven't figured out where I've been going on most of my trips, I have been going to Ohio to visit her. And... You know, that's already been over the course of the last couple of years now. It's actually coming up on two years around September, in fact. And, uh, well, as our relationship has progressed, um, oh, also, I'm going to get this guy in my party, apparently. The Pocus Poppet? Okay, I'll take it. Um, go to the wagon, homie. Wait, the wagon's full? Then go to the monster monitor. I don't give a F. Actually, I'll send, uh,. Zombie boy over there. And thank you for the congrats, Frog. Um, but yeah, it's almost coming up on two years. The two years thing isn't really the announcement. It's just I just did the math right now and realized it's almost been two years. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, that's been going on if you haven't noticed or didn't already know. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering when I've been taking all these breaks and stuff, that's where I've been going a majority of the time. Other than when I went to North Dakota to visit my grandfather. But of course, after I went there, I went to Ohio afterwards and was gone for a couple extra weeks. Damn, I got another guy? Fine, I'll take you too, Prestigitator. Sure. He's probably a better mage or whatever than like the fucking bat. Get out of here, bat. Um, but yeah, so that's a thing. And because our relationship has progressed as, as you know, over the time that we've been together. Um, I basically, uh, we, we've, we've kind of decided that we, you know, wanna, we wanna move in together. So um, to make that happen, you know, either she's gotta come here or I gotta go there. Well, at the moment, obviously she has to uh, deal with the fact that she has a child. And so, uh, and also combine that with the fact that my, my lease is actually up this month for the place that I live right now uh, and in the interest of saving money basically there's a lot of good reasons I'm gonna move to Ohio guys I will be on East Coast time um, and that is actually coming up in a couple of weeks so for a I won't say permanent amount of time but a semi permanent so it'll probably be about a year maybe less depending on how long it takes me to actually buy a house because I still want to come back here to California and buy a house um, but in the meantime, I'm just going to keep working remotely. Same job. I've already told my work about it. They're okay with it. Um, I'll just be on East Coast time. Uh, but yeah. Shit, Funky died? Ugh, I gotta leave, man. I gotta leave. If Funky's dead, I gotta go. I'll have to come back. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna move to Ohio, guys. That's, that's really the main news. That's... I, you guys can probably figure out the rest from there, really. I don't feel like I need to be more detailed than that. You just need to know when it's happening. And it's actually going to be happening about two weeks and a couple extra days. Um, I'm going to be leaving on, like, actually leaving from this house on the 18th. Um, yeah. So I'll be headed to Ohio on the 18th officially. Um, yeah. So, obviously, what does that mean for stream times? Well, I will be three hours ahead of where I am now, which a lot of you are already ahead of me in time zones anyway, so if anything, it'll, it'll only actually help your ability to watch my stream more, depending on when I actually do stream over there. Um, and 
Yeah, that's a thing. Also, whoa, what? I came here at night and the little wolf ran away. What the F, dog? I guess if you come here at night, you get to see the wolf. I'm still going to go to the dungeon, obviously. But yeah, let me just take a nap here. Heal up all my shit. And uh, yeah. But yeah, just, uh, just know that for at least the next year-ish, it'll probably be less, I will be on the East Coast time zone. Obviously, our ultimate plans are to move back here so I can you know, still be close to work where I will need to go back in at some point regularly, I'm sure. Unless I get a different job, of course. But at this point, my job's okay staying remote because we're not going back in yet. And, uh, you know, it's okay if I work remote still even after that because I think for the most part, it'll still be fine. Anyway, work is irrelevant for you guys. You don't need to know about that. It's personal stuff. Point is, um, yeah. Until we work out a plan to uh, get a house over here and move my ass back over here, that uh, that that's gonna happen. So yeah, um, that will affect streams. Obviously, time zone wise, uh, I obviously probably won't be streaming for a, maybe, might even be a week or two. Just try to get re, just kind of get acclimated over there. Try to figure out how we're gonna do things. Morrow might have issues streaming as well during that same time. So you know we're gonna work that all out. Obviously, we already have a place. She already moved into it, in case you haven't already heard stuff on her stream. She already moved into the place. Technically, we got that place together. Um, so I've just been working out the logistics of the move over the course of the last couple months between, you know, stuff and work and having a place to go once, you know, moving her in there and all that. So, yeah, that was part of it as well. Um, yeah. How does Minnie, Minnie Morrow feel about the move? She's excited. E Evelyn is excited to have me over there. She's been asking for a while, so it's about time, like Frog said. And honestly, you know, we both have our hang-ups about why it was hard to, you know, make the move at this moment. Mine is mostly my job, and hers is obviously having the child over there with the father over there, right? So, again... That's been the uh, the way the stuff we have to deal with. But all right, anyway, I feel like I've made my announcement. If you guys want to know any more things, you can always just ask me. I'm not gonna be too defensive about it or anything. I've just been trying to hold off on announcing until I had more details about when and how and all that. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll probably be talking about it more over the next couple weeks, obviously getting people ready for it when there's more people around. But I figured I'd just start getting people prepped for it so the conversation has already started um, since it's only a couple weeks away that that will happen. God, these enemies are kicking my ass. My Wacka died. My Gutrude almost died. I need to pay more attention to stop talking. <sighs> Whatever. Um, anyway, more seriously, whenever you guys are ready, you're here to consult about the narration stuff. Yeah, um, obviously we've we've discussed that more too, Frog, because she was she's actually very interested in doing more of that. Um, a lot of that depends on her setup, which we're gonna um, work on when I get there, like a fish, like you know, permanently get there, so we can work on the setup for the room she can record in and microphone usage. I already told her she can use my microphone for actual recording stuff and practicing and all that, so we can. You know, see how it really sounds when she actually does stuff. So it's got more clear microphone. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's that's a that's gonna happen. Also, that's a metal slime knight. Yo, kill him. Give me lots of experience, please. Yes, please. Oh, lame. Metal slime knights are not worth extra experience like regular metal slimes. Lame. Whatever. Gudian's level 9. He learned Squelch. And then my backup bitches are leveling up as well. Boo. Shiny on the ground. Gimme. Mini, mini metal, bitch. You like to tell people when you can't front? Yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, again, once we have the more um, actual setup going on, we will make sure that we have the actual proper settings and guidelines. Everything that Audible or whatever places, you know, we need whatever things we have to adhere to to do voiceover stuff. We will figure all that out 
once we have setups properly and things set up. Like, we want to make sure it's all set up, see if we need to set up any insulation, you know, stuff like that. Make sure it sounds good. Because obviously my mic is here. That room's over there. And uh, we'll have to figure out how this mic sounds in that room. I think it'll be fine because, I mean, the more stuff we put in that room, the more insulated it'll be. So here comes all my stuff, basically. You know what I mean? Anyway, congrats. We'll be waiting for the next big announcement. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> How's the traffic noise there? Oh, basically non-existent. It's a reasonably quiet area. Um, I will say if there's neighbors around, they're loud. But the traffic itself is usually pretty good. Um, it should be fine. The neighbors are pretty much gone during main work hours. And even during the night, they're pretty quiet. I don't really hear much talking when I was over there. Um... And yeah, that's actually another uh, plus about being over there with her or, or just over there or she's over here when we're together. We can do more co-op stuff that's not necessarily uh, online co-op required. We can do more couch co-op stuff, which I'm actually really excited about. Um, there's a bunch of couch co-op games that I've kind of been wanting to play for a long time. like Or at least, you know, stuff that I have to be in the same room to play. Mostly older stuff. Um, so I'm actually excited to be with somebody who, you know, would want to do that stuff with me. So that's, that's cool, too. I'm, I'm actually excited about that. Super hyped about it. Morrow's going to be kind of sad that I did all this talking and announcing stuff and she's not even here right now. But uh, I'm sure she'll... Now that I've let the cat out of the bag, I'm sure people... Or I will... I mean, I'll let her know I said something if she still doesn't know at this point. Right now, she's probably putting her daughter to bed, but yeah. You suggested tomorrow to hang blankets in the room and that's just a stopgap measure. Um, I've actually thought about that anyway, Frog, or put something, because here's one thing. The room we're going to use to have our computers in, we're actually going to put both our computers in the same room. Um, so the biggest thing there is how are we both going to stream next to each other? You know? That's going to be an interesting thing. We're going to have to figure out sound there. And if, it and if we don't both have really good microphones, which we totally can make a good microphone setup to where we won't have echo... But we're going to have to do some microphone setup to seriously get that working right. But it can be done. Um, so we either have to do really good microphone setups or we have to set up some insulation between us. So, Or even just around one of us so sound won't travel too too far. So yes, we, we, we've already considered that, or at least I have. I've already been brainstorming what I want to do. But yes, I have, I've already got, given that thought from... And no, I have not played the game a way out, uh, DJ. I mean, I've obviously seen parts of the game um, because when I first heard about the game, I got a little bit of exposure to it. When I first heard about it, I watched a little bit of gameplay from like other people playing it. So I'm not going to be completely blind, so I know what the general game's about. Um, but uh, overall, yeah, I haven't played it. And I haven't seen the whole game, so I don't know exactly how it goes. But yeah, I would like to try it out. Maybe me and Mara will play it. But that one can be played online. We didn't have to play that one sitting next to each other. Yeah, I'm probably still blind to most of the parts that matter. Agreed. So it probably would still be a good time. Although I'm pretty sure she has played it already. So I don't know. Not that I wouldn't want to play it with her. Because I'll still play it with her. I'm sure. I think she said she only played the, the, through with one of the characters. So she could still play through as the other character. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's a can of box. That's my first one of these in this game. Uh-oh. All right, what kind of shit can I do? I forgot. My Goodian can heal. I should be using his magic to heal. Uh, fuck it. Attack. Defense? Let's do that. Frizz or Fizzle? Frizzle! Maro cheated on me with Allegory with two takes two. No, me and Dragon already played it takes two. So that's why, uh, you know, I told Maro, you know, if she wants to play it completely blind, she should play it with somebody else. It was going to be FML because that probably would have been funny. But then Allegory wanted to play it. So I think her and Allegory have a, have a fun rapport when they stream together. So that's a good time. Another Iron Curious, huh?
none of the guys I'm using can wear it. And the my dead Wacka already has it, so it's like, I'll hold on to that, I guess. We can go mug FML whenever we like. I've actually thought about going to, you know, f bother him. We actually weren't too far from him when we went to that concert. So I've talked about the concert I went to, right? The 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 music festival that I went to when I was in Ohio. I kind of mentioned it already, but I haven't talked about it in, like, details. But we went to the music festival a couple weeks ago. And uh, apparently that wasn't that far away from where FML was. Or at least the place that we stayed in a hotel over by where it was at. Um, that was apparently not very far from where he was at. And I was like... I wasn't considering to go see him at the time, but I just thought about it. I was like, we could go see him, even though we totally weren't gonna, but yeah. Also, I don't think he was home during that weekend. I think he was out of town. These flaming rope guys, wispy willow motherfuckers, are about to murder everyone. I'm fucked. I'm fucked! I'm fucked! This was a horrible choice! Uh, this is bad. This is real bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. 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 This is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna die. 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 This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. 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 I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 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 Wow. There goes half my money. I might have to do a little grinding here, guys. Not even for Funky so much. It's just for the other party members. Cause I'm getting fucking wrecked here, dude. I'm getting my rectum pushed in, dog. I can't cast evac because I'm dead. I have a, a thing to get out of here, though, right? Right? Please? For the love of God, please? Fuck. I can't use that. I can't use that here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a death here. Wait. Uh, I have one other op option. Holy water. It's only going to ward off weaker enemies. That's not going to help. There are revival items. I just don't have any yet. Dragon Quest is always very light on revival items. I'm just going to have to run from every battle and hope I can get the fuck out of here. Usually you have to wait till you get a spell to revive people. Oh, the poke person's going to murder me. Oh, man. The fleeing is working right now, man. The fleeing is working, man. If I can get out of here alive, hell yeah. I'm almost out. Metal slimes! Oh. Damn it, they both ran away. <laughs> yeah, Yggdrasil Leaf. That's usually what you use to revive in these games. That's the general um, Dragon Quest revival item. Did I miss you switch party members, or is that just shenanigans because dead party members? Oh, I'm using... Oh, wait, no. No, I'm... I, I, oh, I switched party members because of dead. I'm still going to use the same party. Don't worry. I'm going to be stubborn and use the same party I was using. Hey, it's Garzonus. What's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today, sir? Why am I fighting? I'm about to die. I regret everything. Flee. Damn it. Stop calling him more heal slimes. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god, let me out of here, dude. Actually, keep calling in more. They're weak sauce anyways. I got away. All right. I'm almost there. Ugh, we made it. Holy shit, dog. My god. That was um I mean, I got to keep my money at least. That was nice. No, I'm not repeating anything, but we can at least re-mention it if you want. Basically, I was just announcing and giving details on the fact that I am moving to Ohio. That's all. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. This isn't what I wanted. I want to go to the church. The church was inside of the item shop, right? I think so. 
I was like, I need to revive my homies. Sleeping will not do that. Moving to the better U.S. time zone. I don't know about that, DJ. Just better for you and other people who live in that general area. Wake up, my bitches. Away from dim darn coastal states. Oh, I'm coming back. This is not a permanent move forever, but it is a move for at least approximately a year, maybe less. It all depends on how long it takes me to, uh, you know, not have to pay my entire life away to buy a house in California. Lower taxes in Ohio. Well, I mean, I'll tell you this, Frog. I'm still going to be getting paid my California stuff. But if you mean, like, sales tax and stuff, then yeah, sure, probably. But, like, in terms of what I get, uh, work, well, my work, my, my state taxes and stuff uh, from my work is still going to go to California. I'm not moving. I'm not officially moving, moving. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not moving any of my address or, and stuff over there. I'm still going to be technically you know, California resident. I'm just going to be staying in Ohio. If that makes sense. But yeah, basically if I start streaming at five over there, which I won't be, by the way, I'll just tell you now, five o'clock start time, it will not be the same over there most days. Um, then it would be different, obviously. A lot can happen in a year, Frog. I agree. A lot can happen. That's why I'm not, like, trying to say, like, I have, like, a set plan for day-to-day -day what I'm, you know, what's going down from now until next year. I'm just telling you what my general plan is because that's all I got right now. A lot of it is just trying to get me out of this house and, you know... Cost wise, it just makes sense, even though it's going to cost a lot up front, obviously, to move my shit. Um, I will be able to save more money for a substantial amount of time. I'll start streaming at exactly midnight. What time is it for you right now, Garzonas? Um, what am I doing? It's 428 in the morning. Jesus. Why are you awake so fucking early in the morning? What the hell? Do you work at like an early time or something? Or a late time maybe? I don't really know. Or do you just have a really fucked up sleep schedule? <sighs> of course. Thank you, Frog. I appreciate it. I do. I do, man. I really do. You like mornings are the best time of day? Four in the morning, though? The fuck, man? That's so early. What am I doing here? I was going to go stay at the inn and heal all my motherfuckers. And I'm just like, I'm sitting here talking to all these fucking dudes. And I'm just like, what am I doing? I need to get my freaking party back together. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 